Okay, um, my name is John Rookie Wright. Rookie is my nickname. My name is John Wright. Uh, I was the number one handball player in the world. And then what are your plans for this year? Do you want to reclaim something? My plans for this year is to try to t throw tournaments for the other talented players and to, you know, compete in doubles. Are you planning to compete, compete in the Kings of the Kings of the Court? I'm not competing in the Kings of the Court, the King of the Court, but I'll be there uh, to help support them. And you say that you want to throw tournaments? Yes. And what tournaments are you planning? Uh, planning singles and doubles. Uh, can you please tell us uh, what, are, what are your trophies, how many Kings of the Courts you have? Well, I have seven King of the Court titles and trophies. <laughs> I have too many. I have so many. I can open up a trophy store. I give them to my friends and fans, you know, as a thank you. Nice. So can I have one next time I see you? Sure. Why not? <laughs> um, okay. Can you please tell us um, what do you think about the state of the sport? Um, I think it's an Olympic quality sport. It just lacks the funding and the advertising. So we have to make it, make it an Olympic sport, I guess. That is correct. And uh, how can we do it? Uh, well, it's already in process to make it an Olympic sport. And we were just shy, uh, maybe three countries. But we were definitely on the calling block for the Olympics. They did look at us. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you please tell us more about the, the three countries, what happened? Well, I think it was, it, was, it was a combination of just falling shy of the recommended Olympics uh, countries to compete for the Olympics and uh, other sports uh, before us getting their process. I see. And if it goes into the Olympic sport, what do you think it should be? One wall, two wall, four wall? What, what? Well, personally, I believe it should be one wall because uh, it's a very easy game to learn. And I think the whole world will be able to adapt to the game faster. Um, it reminds me, watching it reminds me of the game in 2009 in Tucson, Arizona. Right. Against Gio. Right, right, right. So, Gio's my student and he's a phenomenal player. I mean, he's an amazing athlete. He forced me to bring everything out of, you know, that I had. I had a big lead on him and I couldn't close out the game because I had a uh, tour meniscus. I believe the score was like 18-9 and I had to forfeit or and they would and they, were, they thought I was joking around because I joke around a lot but I wasn't I, I literally injured myself the courts were too sandy and too slippery well it was a great deal of sportsmanship when Gio was trying to help you to put the brace yeah yes, yes yes we're all friends uh of the handball court so you know uh there's no animosity it was just you know fun I mean if you win you win you know congratulations to the winner if he would have won, I would have congratulated him or anyone else. Why do you like the sport? Well, I love this sport because it's a, it's a full body workout and it's great for anyone who wants to get in shape and have fun. Well, thank you very much for staying on the court and inspiring people. Thank you. For it's your a time. pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for